Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lunder Squad? How you guys doing? I'm gonna play um, a Robin game because it's simple. I don't really need to think too much about it while I'm just talking because there's a lot I got to talk about. I've been out of the game for a couple weeks now. Um, if you didn't know, then now you do. I I've been I've been sick for quite a while. <clears throat> I don't know what it is yet. But I'm working hard to figure it out what it figure out what it is. There's a new god, Bake Kujira. I I don't even know if I'm saying that right. He's insane in the membrane. He's super simple to play apparently, and people are very disappointed with him. I didn't get to play him, or I and I haven't seen any uh, information about him, so I can't talk about him too much. But he's a fucking whale, so that's cool. Uh. <clears throat> Next up, we have the biggest thing possible. Now, now listen, I'm going to pause and I'm going to put this on screen um, because this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to Duel. They are automatically banning the top performing 32 gods because the, the same gods have been uh, the top gods for a while. For a while, right? So they're automatically banning all of these gods. All, you can come here and, and um, pause the video if you want. Uh, <clears throat> and I am a little nervous to say, but it was, it was my idea. I, I pitched this idea to them um, over a year ago, maybe. Maybe it was like, I mean, yeah, it had to be like more than a year ago where I pitched this idea to high res. Um, you know, I went out to dinner with the VP of high res. He's a friend of mine. He no longer works at high res, but at the time it was the VP of high res. And, uh, I went out to dinner with him. I gave him my idea. He said, it's a really good idea and I should talk to Ajax about it. So I hit up Ajax and <clears throat> it looks like they're running with it, which is I mean, it's amazing for me, you know, to see my idea being actually implemented in a game is kind of surreal. But at the same time, you know, I understand there's a lot of criticism about it. And I just want to mention a few things about the system that I had in mind. Now, me personally, when I pitched this idea, I recommended 30% or I, I recommended 25% of the playable gods to be non-playable on a rotation. They upped it a little bit and went with 33%. I believe it's 32 or 33% of the god base. Um, which is a little nerve-wracking because, you know, that's it. they doubled down on my idea. You know, they were like, <laughs> they were like, fuck it. We like it. Let's do it. And while I really appreciate how much trust they have in me, um, they also did something I, I did not want to happen, which was they banned the top 32 gods, right? If the, I wanted them to ban the top 15 gods, maybe, and then the other 15 be randomized so that we have an actual different evolving meta, so to speak, every single patch or every two patches or whenever they plan on you know um resetting these these bands these automatic bands my plan was to have the top 15 gods banned straight up and then everything after that is like not necessarily random but like a curated random right they don't you don't want like fucking 10 random guardians banned for no reason but you want a curated randomness that might just be able to uh, change up the meta every time, you know, bans occur, right? So that's one thing that they're doing that I didn't necessarily like is that they're just going with the best gods being banned, whereas I very much so want, um, I very much so wanted, oh, that is annoying. I wanted an evolving meta. 
what they're doing now and i'm sure it's going to change right so like this this is just the first iteration like i'm saying um when they're banning these gods every single patch or maybe even every bonus patch like it it could be as the meta could be changing as fast as every two weeks or as slow as every two months i'm not exactly sure how they plan on going about this but um i do know that it is going to change and this this 32 of the best dual gods being banned is simply the first iteration and um i think it's a fantastic idea just obviously you know i'm the one who fucking pitched it i better think it's a good idea and the reason i think it's a good idea is because people have a uh, a reliance so to speak on certain gods to carry them through every every difficult aspect of their video game you know like <laughs> they'll there'll be people that main one god and while that's not a bad thing to do it is a bad thing to do for a competitive game if you play if you simply pick one god that's by default better than all the others um and you main him forever you're by default going to get the gm like you don't really need a level of skill to receive the gm status which is supposed to be you know the elite of the elite like we're supposed to be like the best players to ever grace the game and um with all of these really really simple to play gods like ebo and on her and fucking hoi Yi and like just a bunch of simple to play gods dominating the meta for a decade at this point right um it needs you, you needed to switch it up a little bit and i think that this is the perfect way to do it now that being said um i do like i said i do see where the negatives could be seen from um i could see how somebody could see the negative in this and they could say well you're simply uh i guess demotivating or just straight up removing some of the best players in the game because you're taking their god away from them right like you're you're removing some people's comfort picks and yeah they removed mine too like uh, it's not it's not other people's like my comfort picks are chronos and poseidon where i know that i won't lose you know so i i get it but it's also necessary to become a better player, right? Like, it's necessary to change up the meta, become adaptable, right? Become adapting. You want to be as good as him? Become him. You know, like, if you can't adapt, you're you're no better than a silver player just, be, just because your rank is GM because you main Evo, you know? So I think this will add a lot to the game mode. I think, you know, it's going to add, obviously, a completely new meta, a completely new tier list can be made every single patch on what gods we think will rule the meta. And it will be ever-changing, always fluid. I think it's going to be a really, really good idea for Duel. Now, here's the thing. It is either going to be really, really good, or it is going to completely kill the mode. And I know that. I knew that when I pitched it right like i'm not i'm not stupid i know this is something that's either going to be amazing or ruin the game for the 11 duelers that actually play duel so you know we'll find out i have no um i have no like false pretense that my idea is only only good I know that there's flaws in it. I know that it, there's, it's going to be have to. It's going to have to be changed a bit. I know that people aren't going to love it all the time. Um, but overall, overall, I think the quality of Duel as a whole with a different meta will skyrocket. It will actually skyrocket because, like, while. You might be like, oh, Sam, you're playing Robin right now and he's really good. And um, <clears throat> and he's not he's not on that list of banned gods. Yeah, well, 
not every god is going to be. The thing is, every meta is going to be changing. That almost got it. Oh my god, he almost got it. The meta is going to be ever changing, like I said, every two weeks or a month or two months. And at the very, very least, it's a, def a different meta that, than we've had for the past decade. You know? We're, we're like, if Robin is the best god in duel, it's going to be the first time that has ever happened in a decade. So it's pretty insane. I'm, I'm really excited for it. I've, you know, even though I can't really record or stream too much right now because of me being sick, um, I do hop on Twitter. I do read what you guys are saying. Um, I saw the video that Rexy put up where he said that it's either going to kill Duel or be the best update to ever happen to Duel. Uh, I agree, and I just hope I'm not wrong, you know? <clears throat> and I, I have, I have known about this. I, you know, I, I've talked to them a bit about it. Um, my ideas for it, my thoughts on it. And like I said, they did go off the rails a little bit on this, this first iteration of it to what I, I wanted exactly. You know, they did a full scale up of the best performing gods rather than some curated randomness. And they did... Um, like, I don't know how often they're going to be changing it up and stuff like that, but for the most part, I think it's very good. And I think we're going to love it. I think the dual community as a whole will love it. I also think we need it, to be honest. We need change. We need change. <clears throat> I am fighting a Thoth. Who, simply put, does not want to fight. <clears throat> I don't think I can get this. Oh, you do a lot more damage than I thought you would. Alright. Um this is not really much up here. I'm down on kills. Or not on kills, I'm sorry, I'm down on gold. Yep. I have a lot of life still here. Well, maybe I can kill you here, actually. Nice. He wanted to go for the wave, but I stopped him. Because I killed him before he went. Let's go. That's huge. Then we got the dual orb to take the tower. Pog, pog, pog. Uh, this is my first game of Smite in... 12 days. So it's been a while. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm rusty as shit right now. <laughs> and... You might be wondering to yourself, Sim, I know you're sick. What have you been doing while sick? Well, you kind, gentle soul who's asking a question. Okay. Um, I have been... Why are you following me? I have been playing Final Fantasy 16 and watching Shiv play Final Fantasy 16. That game is sick. I very... Very, very like it. I very like it. I didn't think I would. I've never... Okay, so let's recap. Back in the day. Let's go back to 10-year-old Sam for a second. 
Kingdom Hearts, my favorite game of all time, which is set in the Final Fantasy universe. If that is the case, Sam, why don't you love Final Fantasy? Well, here's the thing. It's turn-based combat. And I don't like turn-based combat. Except when it's Pokemon. Because who doesn't like Pokemon? Um, ouch. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I never liked Final Fantasy because it's turn-based combat, and turn-based combat is sucky to me. Now, I will say, as an adult, I can tolerate turn-based combat in games as long as the game is very, very well made. Um, but I never got into Final Fantasy because that's what it was until, I think, Final Fantasy 7 or 8. Um, <clears throat> it was turn-based combat for a while. And at that point, you know, when you've made five turn-based combat games, it's over. I like, I don't care anymore about your entire franchise. I, I know that I'm not going to want to play them. Final Fantasy 16, um, is the first Final Fantasy that I've actually given a try. And goddamn, is it good. <laughs> The animations to things are so fluid and so cool. Um, it really, it just makes you feel like a, like a straight up badass. Like there's no other way to put it. You just feel like a badass when you play that game. And, uh, I didn't mean to buy a multi, I meant to buy a multi pot, not a mana pot. Um, and it's just so cool, man. And I... Shiv really likes Final Fantasy 15, which is the open world Final Fantasy, which um got a lot of like criticalness for it, but I think a lot of people like a lot of players like Final Fantasy 15. I you know, I did play Final Fantasy 15 a little bit. It's hard to get into for me because of the driving everywhere and the fact that you have to like sleep. Well, you don't have to sleep at night, but um, you kind of have to sleep at night because the things wreck your shit if you don't. But, um, yeah, I tried it. I don't love it. Like, I didn't fall in love with Final Fantasy 15, but 16 is so good. Like, the pacing of the game... The pacing of the game and, uh the combat is so cool and the combat is so cool by the way because um they hired the guy that made devil may cry's animation and he's the one that made the animations for or at least led a team of animators for um final fantasy 16 and it's so fucking cool man that phoenix ability can't beat it it is it's simultaneously the least satisfying and most satisfying ability i've ever played in a game most satisfying because obviously the way it looks come on how could you not be satisfied by that least satisfying because it always leaves the enemies at like two hits and then you have to go around one by one hitting them all and it, it triggers the piss out of me every single time but it's okay. I'll get over it because of how cool it looks. <clears throat> By the way, I'm getting his Phoenix. I haven't really talked about this game at all, but that's okay. A lot happens in two weeks, man. A lot happens in two weeks when you, when you, you don't upload for a bit. Oh, also, uh, one thing I do want to say is I've got a lot of messages on you know twitter or i've even got emails i get uh messages on twitch asking if i'm okay i am okay i'm not dying you know like i'm i'm fine uh i'm just the issue i have is i i get very like super dizzy and nauseous um 
And for some reason, when I'm playing Smite, it it happens. So it's not like I, I can't. Like it happens a lot, but <clears throat> I can't just kind of ignore it. I mean, I can ignore it for a while, but not forever. You know, you know what I mean. I'm sure you know what I mean. But yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who messaged me and like reached out. I really appreciate it. I am okay. Um, and you guys reaching out does mean a lot. I, I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I tried to blink over the wall, but I'm a bozo. Don't you dare hit me. Oh, okay. Oh my god, he just got owned. He just got owned. He got owned. He got owned. He got owned. He, got owned. he actually just got owned. You're getting owned. It's it's done. It's over. I win. GG. GG, Lionel Messi. Stick to soccer. Stick to kicking balls before I kick you in the balls. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. GG gamers. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.